Hi, I'm Jay with Studio Cycles, studio-cycles.com, and in this quick video, we want to show you how to quickly and easily recalibrate your Schwinn Echelon 2 console with power upgrade. If you buy one of these consoles on an AC series bikes from us, we'll actually install and calibrate this console for you, but it's nice to recalibrate from time to time, especially if you're seeing some irregular numbers. So all you need is this calibration tool, which came with your console, and about one minute of your time. So let's go ahead, zoom Zoom on up and walk you through the process. First, you will need the calibration tool that came with your console. If you lost or threw this piece away, give us a call and we can replace it for you, but you will need it for this process. The first step is to place the calibration tool on the flywheel with the upward lip facing away from the bike and slide this calibration tool along the flywheel back far enough until it is directly under the magnetic basket. Tighten the resistance all the way down and check to make sure the magnetic basket is resting on top of the calibration tool. Hold the stage and average max buttons down on the console at the same time to open up the console menu. You may need to hold the button for about 10 to 20 seconds. You will know you have opened the menu successfully when you see the word carbon blue appear on the screen. Repeatedly press the Average Max button to scroll through the menu options until the screen reads Calibrate. Hit the light button in the center to enter the calibration mode. Be careful to not touch the bike during this process as it can throw off the calibration. Repeatedly press the light button until you see the words Set Zero Point. You can skip the instructions regarding placing the calibration tool on the flywheel as we already have performed this. You should now see a calibration reading that shows 0.0, .0 to 0.1 or alternating with a number showing 357 to 358. If this number is off, repeat the steps to recalibrate. Press the average max button until you see calibrate exit appear on the screen and press the light button to exit. Remove the resistance and calibration tool from the flywheel and test your bike at zero resistance. At 80 RPM, the power reading should show about 20, but anywhere between a range of about 13 and 30 is acceptable as it is difficult to hold a perfect 80 RPM. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for our inside look at how to quickly and easily recalibrate your Schwinn Echelon 2 console with power upgrade. If you need help finding the right bike or accessory for your home or club, then reach out to us and let us know what we can do for you. You can check us out online at studio-cycles.com or give us a call at 888-909-2453. If you wanna contact me directly, you can actually call or text me on my cell phone at 424-298-0826. So once again, I'm Jay with Studio Cycles. Thanks for checking us out. We'll talk to you soon.